Hello, welcome to Maker Studio Facebook page. I'm Cheryl and I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page. So today I wanted to show you how to make your own art using the Maker Studio stencils and some gel art ink and some gilding. So as you hop on, let me know where you're watching from and let me know if you cannot wait for spring to arrive where you're at. So don't forget also to tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the giveaway for this stencil. So the name of this stencil is called Work For Good. So it says all things work together for good to those who love God, Romans 8, 28, and always be joyful, never stop praying and be thankful in all circumstances. So I am going to use one side of these stencils. As you can see, I have already used it. So that's the good thing about these stencils, that they are reusable mesh stencils if you are new to the Maker Studio line of stencils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out of its sleeve. Again, save the sleeve, save the sleeve. It's a great um, thing to have to store your stencils back in when they're clean. So this is a two-part stencil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut it in half. Cut the stencil in half. Cause you have two different um, graphics on here. So I'm gonna put this one to the side and I'm gonna use the one that says, always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances. So I'm gonna use that side. So I'm gonna take a piece of, um, this is the uh, thick paper, the, um, what is it called? Just just left my mind. But it's the paper, the watercolor paper. There you go. I got it. So it's really thick and it makes good for, for a good uh, surface to make your own decor pieces because you can stencil right on this. So what I'm going to do is, again, these also come on a backing and they're tri-mesh and they're also adhesive. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna pull it off the backing. Again, keep the backing because when you clean this, you'll put it back on the backing and put it back into the sleeve. So I'm going to put this right on my watercolor paper. And I'm gonna make sure that it is flush to the surface of that. So I'm gonna take some gel art ink. I am going to go with a color scheme of navy and gold. I love those two colors together. So again, if you're hopping on just now and you just caught us live, I am Cheryl from the Home I'm Making page on Facebook. Don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and also let us know if you are ready for spring. So I'm going to be using the Gel Art Ink in the met metallic gold, which is a fabulous color, and the Hush Your Mouth, which is a dark navy. So I'm going to take a spreader. Because these words, I'm going to be using two types of Gel Art Ink, I want this spreader to be cut much smaller. So I did cut it into two little pieces and I'm going to take the metallic gold gel art ink. I'm not doing the whole stencil in one color. So I wanted to just add a little bit of um, gel art ink to this spreader so that I can get into this tight area. So I'm going to do the gold color first and then I will come back with the navy. So I'm only going to highlight a couple of words on here with the metallic gold gel art ink. This little um, piece of the spreader is just letting me get into these tight areas because I was able to cut it. So I highlighted be joyful and I'm also going to highlight be thankful with the gold metallic. I love these metallic um, gel art inks. They just add a little something, especially when you pair them with another gel art ink that's not metallic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that whole section there. So I did cut it pretty small, this um, spreader. So it's just given me some uh, an easier way for me to be able to grasp it and get into these tight spaces because since I'm not going to be using 
the same colored gel or ink on the whole thing. These are washable even when you cut them. So I have a water bath over there that I'm going to put all my products in until I get off the live and am able to wash everything. So I took my other little spreader and I'm going to use the navy gel art ink and the color of this is hush your mouth <laughs> you think i would remember that you think i would remember that so i'm just going now and i'm going to use the navy on the rest of the stencil the fun part is um you could also use the silver gel art ink the metallic in this I just chose the gold only because the paper was white. I thought it might um, actually show up a little bit better. But plus, it's I love gold and navy together. I think that's such a great color combination. So I'm just putting a little bit of this gel art ink on my spreader. And I am just pushing it through the stencil. I could tell when it goes through the stencil because since the watercolor paper is white, it's changing the color to navy. So I know that I pressed it through. And once I'm done with an area, I'm done with it. I'm not playing with it too much. And then I just got the bottom to do. There is a little section down here that has the A Maker Studio logo on there. You can include that in there, but I'm going to make sure that I don't in this case. Again, I prefer to just keep adding some uh, gel arting to the spreader so that I don't have a bunch of leftovers and then waste it. Okay, so I'm going to put this into the water bath that I have over there. I'm going to pull this off of my paper, and you will see what we have here. So see, isn't that pretty? Two different um, color combinations. So this stencil, again, try mesh All the product is now on the front. Now, normally you would get up and go run this underwater and just mush it with your hands and get all that product off of the stencil. If it stains the mylar, that's okay. You just really want it out of the mesh, any product that you pair with these stencils. But I'm not gonna get up. So I have a bowl of water over here that I'm just gonna stick my, um, stencil in so that it doesn't get wet or I mean it doesn't dry out while I am on the live and it'll stay wet and moist so it won't dry into the mesh. So this is what I have so far. All right so I'm going to just put that to the side um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out if you've never worked with leaf, this is really fun to work with. So we have gold leaf and we have silver leaf. And what it is, it's actually like a, almost like a tissue paper of gold. So it comes in a pack like this with a binding and there's 20, 25 sheets of goodness in here. As you can see, there's like a little sheet of tissue paper and then some gold. So I'm gonna show you what I wanna do with this. So I'm gonna take my uh, graphic that I did. And what I wanna do is I love to have a teared edge as far as the um, surrounding of this graphic. So I'm going to just tear this paper kind of in a square. You know, I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm tearing it. I might have to adjust the size in a second, but I'm just going around the graphic and I'm make sure that this is dried by the time you get to this stage. Because you don't want to smear the gel art in. So I'm just tearing. I think I might have to actually just take some of this off. I do want it in a square, pretty much in a square or rectangle, I should say. So I'm just going to tear it, just like that look. Now you could leave it like this, and I'm going to kick it up notch with some gilding. 
Again, if you just hopped on, I am Cheryl. I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page. I'm here today to show you how to make your own decor pieces with a little bit of stencil, a little bit of gel art ink, a little bit of gilding. Okay, so let me just take some of this off. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, but I do want it in almost a rectangle shape. So let's see, just got to get a little bit more on it. So I just love how that looks with the teared paper on here, right? So it just gives it a little bit more dimension. You could leave it like that, or what I'm going to do is, let me get a paper towel. I'm put this down. Now, gilding, that's this leaf right here. Now we pair it the leaf with what we call the gilding size, which is almost the glue that's going to attach the gilding to the paper. So it is a little container like this. Again, all these products are going to be up in the um, description up in the top of this video so you can look them up. So what you do is you open the little container up and then I'm going to take, let me just get that moved out of there, a little brush. And I'm going to dip it into the size. And when I say size, it's S-I-Z-E. And you just, wherever you want your leaf to go, you would just put a little bit of this size on your brush and run it along wherever you want to attach your gold leaf. So I'm just going around the edges of everything that I just tore. So it's going to not be even because I didn't, I did not cut it straight for a reason. Just adding a little bit. And I don't know if you could see that, but it is kind of wet around the edges. Just making sure that I get it all on the, the very edge. I'll be able to tell. You can hard, I could see it because it's wet. You probably cannot see it on the camera because it's like a white, clear medium. So what you need to do, anytime you're going to put the gilding on a surface and you apply the size, you need the size to come to what we call tack. And you need it to sit there a little while. Now, because this is white paper, you can't see, but it'll almost dry clear. So come to tack means if you take your little ring finger and you were to touch this, it'll be tacky and you could almost feel it pull, pull your finger. Now I'm gonna just wave this in the air to hurry up the drying process so that the um, size can come to tack, okay? but it'll take about five to 10 minutes. I can also, if I wanted to hit it with a heat gun, but I could see that it's drying. So that's what you're gonna do. Then what you're gonna do is wherever you placed that size, you're going to take some of the leaf and apply it right on top. So since this has a little piece of tissue paper, keep your book end, for lack of a better word, binding intact and just fold that over. Now you could choose to cut this or use it in its entirety, but I'm just going to put it right down on top of where that end is and it'll, it'll grab onto it and it'll stick to it just like this. So I'm just going to take the rest of it and just rub it on top of the size going around the whole entire piece. I do um, like to keep my extra pieces and you'll see in a second what I mean. So I'm just patting it on top of the size that I put down, which is also the glue that's gonna keep this on this paper. So I'm just ripping it off whatever stays and then moving it to the next section and then tearing it off, moving it to the next se section. Let's see. Just take it off and 
move it, tear it, press it, and just get it all around the whole entire perimeter where I applied the size. If I miss a spot, I can always apply more size and then put the gilding leaf down again. So just trying to get it all the way around. Just taking all my little pieces that I have gotten off of there. If I find something is hanging off, I'm just going to tear it off and apply it to another area. So it looks like, let's see, so this is what I have so far. Anything that is hanging over, I'm just going to try to put it around the edge. So remember, I put that size here prior to putting this leaf on here. And I let it dry a little bit and, like I said, come to tack. If you do it too, or too soon, it won't kind of stick. And then you'll just have a gloppy mess. But I'm just going to push it all down. And if I have any little pieces that I want to add that are not attached, just move it to another area. This is a really fun medium to work with if you've never worked with some uh, leaf. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let me just get this little section over here. Let's see if I need to. Let's put a little bit more of that size down. Let's see if I got it going all the way around. So again, if you just hopped on, don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the giveaway for this stencil. So I'm going to just take a little tray because things can start to get messy. So what I'm going to do is let me lift this up and let me take a chip brush. And what I'm going to do, taking it from the inside out, I'm just going to take the brush and run it over the excess leaf. I'm letting it catch into this um, tray because I'm going to save all these pieces because I could use them. I could add more if I want to add more. If I miss the spot, I can go back and use this leaf. It doesn't have to be in sheets to use it. So I'm just gently taking this brush, this brush, brush is a chip brush and it is dry. And I'm just gently putting it over the foil so that it rubs it off. If I feel like I missed a spot, I can always go back and do it over. Oops. So what I like to do too with all this extra stuff right here, I put it in a little container and I save it and I can go back and use it again. So I see that I don't have a little bit over here. So I'm gonna take some more size and I'm gonna add a little bit over here. Just a little. Let's see, any little place that I missed, I'm gonna go back and add some size. And you could do this till you get your desired effect. So again, we need to let that come to tack. So I'm just gonna, whoa, just gonna make a mess. Just gonna go ahead and let that uh, dry a little bit. And then I could take all these pieces that I have on here and add that to this paper again. So I'll show you what I mean. That's why I won't waste any of this. I won't waste any of it. Just pick it up with your hands. It's fun to play in the gilding. And anywhere that I just added more size, I'm just going to hit it with another little piece. 
And then when I get off of the live, all these little pieces that I have hanging around here, I already have a container that I keep all my scrap pieces of gilding. And I could, you could use them as long as it's here and it doesn't have glue on it. Even if it's these little pieces, you could use them again. Not again, you could use them if you haven't used them before, if you have them left over. Okay, so that's what I got. So what I'm gonna do, let me clean up my space and I'll show you how I'm gonna finish off this. So what do you think? Don't be intimidated by using the, the leaf. It definitely adds a lot to your projects, especially if you um, pair it with some metallic gel or ink like I did, right? I'm just gonna pull up the excess Again, just going around, anything that's not attached at this point will come off. I'm just gonna go around the back. It's always fun to get into your projects. <laughs> and by into it, I mean make a mess. Okay, so here's what I have. So I took the stencil and we used the gel art ink in the, um metallic gold and which is that gold metallic color that pairs well with the gilding on the outside see how that is and then I took the blue hush your mouth for the rest of the stencil then I went ahead and gilded it so let me show you what I'm gonna do I happen to have a frame remember I said you're making your own decor pieces I have a frame actually let me wash my hands because I'll put a little water on there they're all sticky from that gilding size. So I got this frame at Ikea. It's a metal frame and there's two pieces of glass in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out one of the pieces of glass. Let's see if I can do that. And I'm gonna use this as my art piece. I'm gonna put that right in there. It does have a chain. Put it down, and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. Let me try to get it centered in there. Okay, and then I'm going to put my piece of glass back on there. And I would have made my own decor piece using a piece of watercolor paper, some gel art ink, and some gilding. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that fabulous? So all you need to do is just take a stencil, some gel art ink, and some gilding, and you could make your own decor piece. So this could be hung by the chain, or it could be just sitting on your um, buffet, or your sofa table, or your counter, and you have your own decor piece. So I like the fact that I trimmed off the edges of that paper to give it a more rustic look, and then added some gilding. So what do you think, guys? Cute and simple. So I do love the color. Oops, I see the light. Let me try to get that without the light. Can you see that there? It's got the gilding going around the side. And then you have the um, metallic gold gel art ink and the navy, which is the hush your mouth color. I love the combination. So I hope this inspired you guys to create your own decor pieces. All you need is some watercolor paper, some gel art ink, and some gilding. And you can have a wonderful decor piece like this. So don't forget, all these products are up in the description tab up at the bottom of this or the top of this page of the video. And don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial so you could be in the giveaway for this fabulous stencil. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this inspired you.